solve these equations using the square root property. So, first stage, let's add 49 to the both sides of this equation to yield z plus 2 squared equals 49. The square root property allows us to take the square root of both sides of an equation to yield z plus 2 equals, now this is important, plus or minus the square root of 49. Now the square root of 49 is 7, so I can put a 7, but it's important to note that you get two solutions when you take a square root. It's either plus or minus. So therefore, if we subtract 2 from both sides, we end up getting z equals negative 2 plus or minus 7, and we usually do the simplification here. Negative 2 plus 7 would be 5, negative 2 minus 7 would be negative 9. So we're looking at solutions of z equals 5 and negative 9. Okay, on the right, let's try that again. Add 18 to both sides of the equation so that v minus 4 quantity squared equals 18. Take a square root of both sides. By the square root property, we'll get v minus 4 equals as I'm getting ready to break down 18, I'm going to notice that that's a 6-3 and a 2-3. So that way I can say that the right hand side is going to be plus or minus 3 rad 2. Don't forget we have to, uh, that's a simplification of a radical and the plus minus comes from the square root property. So final answer, let's add 4 to both sides so that v equals 4 plus or minus 3 rad 2. If for some reason you have to write them separately, don't forget that it's 4 plus 3 rad 2, and it's also 4 minus 3 rad 2. Okay, assuming that you are kind of getting this here, why don't you try one on your own? Come over here to this one and see if you can solve this equation. And assuming you paused the video and tried it out on your own, let's see if we can do it together. Add 63 to both sides to yield x minus 7 squared equals 63. Now take a square root property to say x minus 7 equals square root of 63. Let's see, that breaks down into a 7 times a 9, and a 9 breaks down into a 3 times a 3. So get plus minus 3 rad 7. And then if we just add 7 to both sides, looks like we're getting x equals 7 plus 3 rad 7 and also 7 minus 3 rad 7. And those would be the two solutions to this quadratic.